process after meeting Muktananda and being in the ashram in India, my connection to the astral plane seemed to open up. I began actually having experiences with the gods and goddesses. Not that they were God, but they were astral plane figures. And they would identify themselves and give me particular deep spiritual teachings. And I identified each one. Once I would see them, then I would go look up and say, well, who was that? And check it out. One, uh, I couldn't figure out. It was a three-headed figure. And it, a year later, I saw a three-trunk tree. I said, growing in so many precaution on such and it's like, what is that? That's not the treya. Brahma, Shiva, and Vishnu, three heads, one body. It's like, so I was actually seeing figures I didn't even know, but they actually really existed. So there was this connection, and the teachings were coming. Teachings were coming. I saw, you know, certain symbols, and they would move, and then this would happen, and then that would happen. And so in a very deep, primordial way, I was receiving the teachings, experientially. Now, I thought it was only just happening in India, in the ashram in Ganeshpuri. But I was on a kind of back in Petaluma, California, and there's a little woods that I meditated in, and I would do a fire ceremony and just sit and meditate outdoors in the early morning. And one morning, this figure appeared, a feminine figure, and I saw it was the archetypical Lakshmi, the goddess of spiritual and physical wealth. She appeared and she began to walk towards me and ultimately merged with me. And her energies, her feminine energies and the spiritual power and wealth came into me. It was very profound and actually shifted and rebalance my male-female internal energies because the energy of Lakshmi really became part of me. Now, these may sound like foreign names, and they are, but the point is this profound, primordial, feminine guru energy came into me and transformed me in an internal, subtle way. So... This was like a highlight of the teachings that were coming to me as they weren't academic. They were directly experiential. And therefore had a far more profound effect in me. The teaching for me in this is that we are actually affected on many planes if we're open to being affected and influenced and actually receiving the wisdom of the ages, it will happen. I consider it a blessing. I don't get deluded to, to worship them as gods, but I do see them as spiritual astral plane figures that are really able to transmit the teachings from ancient times into modern times. And taking on the sacred feminine in such a profound way has really shifted my life in a really positive way. So when the door opens, Walk through it.